Scotty just call him a body. What's up? We about to get lit and turn up, yeah, lit and turn up. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Abby Nicole, Abby Nick, and today I'm back at it again with another Wig Wednesday recreation. You guys, I had another recreation in mind from Cardi B because she's just been serving looks, um, but she came with something else. So I had to put that recreation on hold and do this one because she literally did this last night. And I was going to start last night, but I was like, nah, I don't want to half-ass it, so I waited till the next day. Here we are. I'm literally filming, editing, and uploading in the same day, so bear with me here. Bear with me. Voice is gone from having a good time last night and then having to wake up early and do this. I'm not going to talk too much in the intro. You see it here. There's not much to say. The proof is in the pudding. You know what I'm saying? We did reach a lot of challenges doing this look. Me and Kay held it down. Yo, B, that's my secret weapon. I keep telling y'all, watch out for us. And her, period. So shout out to Cardi B. She did um, notice my other look and Tokyo Styles as well because he's the one who did this look. Thank y'all for giving me inspiration to just get back into my beauty bag and dip my foot in the beauty industry again because I felt like I lost that and lost my inspiration. So I'm really happy that Tokyo and Cardi have been serving us these looks. Okay. So we are gonna get into the tutorial. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, comment down below. What other recreations you'd like me to do or what else you would like to see on this channel. Thank you guys so much. Follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, all of that, Twitter. It'll all be linked down below. If you would like to purchase a custom colored wig, if you would like to purchase these lashes, which are in the style Belty Fee from Shop Evan Nicole, my hair and lash brand, DM us on Instagram, okay? They're $25, the custom wig is a whole different story. Just DM me with what you're looking for and we can inquire a price that works for you. Okay, I love you guys, let's get right into it. Okay, okay. All right, you guys, so getting right into this tutorial, y'all. I'm using the Flexi Rod. Flexi. Man, I haven't used Flexi Rods in a good little minute. Oh, I'm sorry. This is my um vlog camera, and that vlog camera is Bougetto. That thing is Bougetto. It just do whatever it want. It focus whenever it want, and it do whatever it want. So excuse that. I'm going to switch over to my DSLR camera next but yes i am using these flexi rods oh my god i don't even know what size these are but i bought it if you want them um these are good for curls and clearly for a cardi b recreation okay so um here i go i'm taking these little white things out that's stopping it from sliding through and i'm clipping them together y'all i she probably i don't know what tokyo used he probably used the foam stuff that i used um to create the little circle links that i did for the green look check that out but I, it was, when she posted this, it was late and I didn't feel like running around trying to find this, this, um, these, um, foam hearts because I knew they had them near me, but I didn't know the stock and stuff like that. So anyway, as you can see, I'm connecting it self-explanatory. If you want to, honestly, I think it's better when you, um, connect them first, then go ahead with wrapping the hair rather than wrapping the hair first, then connecting. Cause you have to cover the parts where, um, they're not connected, where the split is. Also, what's crazy about this look, you guys, is I literally, after doing the chain links um, ponytail, I literally told my friends, oh my God, for Valentine's Day, I'm going to get the foam hearts because I saw them at the craft store when I went to go get um, the circle ones. And I'm like, I'm going to do a half red, half pink. And here go Tokyo and Cardi with the same look I just said. So I love to see it. I love the beauty industry, you know. It's very, it keeps you on your toes. It's very competitive, but it just brings out the best in your creativity and just inspiration. So I really love that. So I'm using this um, purple hair, you guys. I have two different shades of purple braiding hair. I couldn't find the exact shade that I wanted, which was like the indigo. Kind of like the backdrop. I was only able to find like a deep, deep, darker purple and kind of like a lilac, lavender-ish kind of purple as well. You're going to see later. But because he had different tones of pink in there, 
I definitely was like, let me do the same thing. But what's crazy is I was going to do that regardless with the other look that I had planned. I'm not going to tell you. And spoil it, I'm going to keep it a surprise for the next Wig Wednesday. Or I might just upload it sooner because I'm just on the, the go with these recreations. And like I said, Cardio and Tokyo are doing a daggone thing. But anyway, as you can see here, this part is very slow. Wow, can't talk. This part is very self-explanatory. Just wrap it up. Wrap it. Rip headphone users. I love you though. Okay. Um, but yeah, and then I'm going to use got to be gel, hair spritz. Now y'all know that hair spritz be coming clutch like Ray Allen in the fourth quarter. Okay. So definitely, definitely use what you need to use. I like to go for my pump it up hair spritz here and there. Sometimes it'd be too much and I have to hang it up in the drawer and just let it be in a drawer for, uh, you know, a little time. Then I come back to it and then it be coming clutch. You know what I'm saying? When you use something too much, it's like, okay, girl, now, 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 I'm tired of you. We're going to hang you up and then we're going to come back. Okay. So I'm going to let the music play clink, 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 and enjoy it. I'll come back when I need to come back. you guys so now we are gonna get into dyeing this ugly faded doodoo brown wig okay so at first I had a little dilemma so I thought that the adore color in the um, shade rich egg rich eggplant would work but y'all it literally made it look like an eggplant after I was done washing it I was so pissed and so ready to like fix it that I went back and I dyed it again I watercolored it twice so at first, you see it looking good. It's like, okay, it's for the masturbating hair. <laughs> ah, wrong. Clink, clink, clink. No, that shit did not work. So I had to go back and do it, okay? So the second color that I used after that was Purple Rage. And then I dipped it, and then it worked out. Spray your lace so it doesn't stain. And then... All right, you guys. So I just had to dye this wig a couple times to try to get it to match that braiding hair back there but it's okay because I'm all about finesse it is a little bit darker but like I said I'm gonna finesse this wig is probably going on five years old right here and when I first got it I didn't bleach the knots because I think the company said that it was already bleached Cha! I think they lied I think they lied so I literally just wanna lay this down I'm probably gonna go in and pluck it a little more after the fact I already like hot comb the hair back already and now I'm gonna just lay the wig down and I'm gonna use lace glue not gonna talk too much on that part because all I need to do is just you know tack it down um, K is gonna help me do the back but I'm gonna just do the front and let that speed up or whatever and then I will come back to you
so now we're gonna move into the actual hairstyle. So she has a pretty high swoop, and I'm about to make that right now. This is not a Shop Abby Nicole wig, but um, like I said, this wig is pretty old. So it's like no parting or like no scalp. The way they made this full lace wig was really weird, but <clears throat> it's okay. I'm gonna finesse it, I'm gonna figure it out. But let me just part out what I need to part out right now. Don't worry about the, the rest later. So right now, before I go tie and mold my hair down, I'm gonna just get the parts that I need to get while um, my hair is free. So because, I'm not gonna lie, the front of this wig is pretty thick, I'm gonna go through and hot comb each section. I've been up all night, you guys, and I was screaming, having a good time at Turk's house. So these days, my voice just be going. <laughs> all right, you guys, yeah, so we're not doing, we're not putting the back down, so I'm gonna um, need Kay's help to put, do the little space buns. So, yeah, that's what I got going on right here. Okay, you guys, so Kay is helping me put these pigtails back. We not even gonna talk about the back. We don't got time for that. So we did the pigtails. I'm holding the lace to ensure that it doesn't lift. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this lace was on pretty good. So after um, putting the pigtails on, we are now trying to figure out how to connect the braid to the ponytail. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do two braids and save ourselves a headache and then just use it and wrap it every which or any which way we could and finesse, finesse. Stay with me now, finesse. Good job, good job. Make it work however it need to work, make it do what it do. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know I had that ball patch wig and that's not the first one I done wore and I done finesse. Girl, make it work, okay? As long as it look good. Don't nobody gotta know your business. So yeah, I'm going in again, we both are braiding and then feeding in the lighter purple to make it match because the hair is pretty dark. And yeah, then we gonna connect the hearts. clip in little extension things that I want to just add in the bang to give it a peekaboo effect. Peekaboo! You know what I'm saying? Just to give it a little dimension. What you think? It's giving me very much, no. It just made the whole wig look cheaper than it already looked. Take this. All right, you guys, I'm a little sad because we're coming to the end and it's crazy because this was like two hours of footage that we're, we're already only at 16 minutes. Like, wow. The power of editing. So this part is pretty much self-explanatory. Just watch, relax, kick your toes up, crack them. Follow me on Instagram. Come see the post. Go look at Cardi's story because she um, probably rep um, reposted it. Thank you, Jesus. And yeah, I love y'all so much. See you in the outro. See you soon.
at you guys. So we figured out how to do these little squiggly things and we're gonna show you how. Scotty just got him a body. look I definitely 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 put some time into this as did Kay as you guys saw in the video I really hope you guys enjoyed this this one was very different for me I honestly don't want to take it off like it's not as bothersome as the green um WAP looking wig but she's tight it's giving me a headache so actually let me loosen it a little bit because child I'm gonna start seeing God and Jesus in a second. But yeah, you guys, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Sorry about my green nails. I'm actually about to go get them done right now. Debating if I want to go to the um, nail shop looking like this. Because the back, honey, hold on. Let me let me let y'all see what the back look like. <laughs> I'm already knowing. I don't even know what it looked like, but I'm gonna just let y'all laugh at me because I'm not going nowhere. This wig is about to come off. But yeah, y'all, give this video a thumbs up, send it to Cardi, share, repost on your stories. I love to see that. Spam purple emojis for the purple series. And thank y'all for enjoying this wink, wink. And thank y'all so much for enjoying this wig Wednesday. I'll see y'all in the next one. Love you. Bye. Scotty just caught him a body.